guys welcome to another episode today is the sixth week straight without rain but we have some coming in tonight while we're sleeping about two in the morning it's going to last all day of 58 during these really hot months july june july and part of august grow rice down here and they flood these fields during dry periods they steal groundwater and pump it through the fields that in turn floods these ditches and it creates a current that comes out of this gutter right here below me probably can't tell from the video but it's really swift actually that in turn creates uh, attracts shad which attracts everything else there's bass, crappie, bowfin, red ear, bluegill, drum, warmouth, about everything in here. Channel cats. So I'm going to use a split shot and red wigglers. I may try a lure later, but for right now I'm just going to try a worm. Um, it was so hot today, it was 100 degrees, but the south winds just came in about an hour ago, making it tolerable at 6. 30 in the evening it is 6 30 as we speak uh, before that there was no way i was getting out of the house it was just too hot it felt like a hair dryer hit you in the face just intolerable Inside the gutter. Whoa. Oh man. I just threw it inside the gutter, guys. Nice bass. I was just joking around. I was sitting on the gutter and I went like this in between my legs. And as soon as it hit the water, directly inside the gutter, guys. He's about damn near two pounds. Nice large mouth. Luckily, I got 14 pound line on where I was able to flip him up actually debating to get the dip net or not it's right behind me but I think anything this size or smaller I can get up here not bad nice bad. good start guys yeah. he's got a worm on him mm -hmm. and something on his tail I'm gonna throw all these fish on the other side All right, guys. Well, six-inch bluegill. I think it's bluegill, and I'm just not hooking them. Now I'm freaking hung up. I'm scoop. Oh no, I'm not. I got something big. Oh my god. I got something like 10 or 15 pounds. I'm not kidding you. This has got to be a bowfin or a carp or something. Buffalo. It's gigantic. Oh my God. It's going in the brush. Oh. Oh man. Oh no. Get out of there. I still haven't seen it. I think it might be a big cat, channel cat. He's about four pounds. Oh my gosh. No, he's just... Oh what? God, he's hooked in the that. fin. He's only about two pounds, guys, but he felt four because I got him hooked in the back. Give it here. Weird, man. How in the heck did that happen? He must have just been swimming along and I hooked him. Weird, guys. Hooked him in the torso fin of all places. About two pounds. Stop it. 
Not bad. Man, that's eating size right there. Yeah. bad at all except they keep swallowing the damn hook makes it hard it's gonna be hard to get off again and then they bleed oh man no way yeah I got, ah, damn and I got blood all over me again and he's all dirty can't wash him off You got one? Oh my gosh. Man, guys, she just caught this crappie out of the gutter. It's already bleeding. Show the side that ain't bleeding. Just go ahead and show us before it gets dirty. Show this side. That is not a bad crappie. Man, a little down. A little bit down. I just heard something flop again in there, too. Tell you what, switch sides with me the sun is right in your face that ain't bad heck yeah guys we got a good variety now bass catfish bluegill and crappie we're lacking both in and buffalo hopefully we get one <coughs> and red ear whoa there was something right there man it makes me later on i'm gonna try a crappie jig Here. <clears throat> yep. God. Not a big one, but that's a red ear. He's got a big scar. Mm -hmm. weird... Yeah, a turtle or something. Dude, calm down. I ain't just messed my line up. <laughs> Oh no. Actually, that looks like. Eh, no, it's not. It's a red ear. Yeah, that's a red ear. Alright, guys. Shell cracker. Red ear. Small one, but. Sunfish, long ear, another kind. Well, we are just racking up the species today, guys. We've caught at least six different kinds. I'm not counting, but I'd say it's about that. <coughs> really dull long ear, almost looks like a bluegill long ear hybrid